Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Italy versus Kerala Blasters. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Francesco Acerbi plays with Rafael Toloi in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And the match begins. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. So the corner played into the box. Well, not cleared away completely. Marko Leszkiewicz. It's looking promising. Chance, maybe. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out the situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Spinazzola. On to Barella. Nicely timed tackle. Diamantakos. Now, what can they do from here? A oh, fine reading of the situation. Rafael Toloi. Domenico Berardi. And on to Di Lorenzo. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Can he put them in front? The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Not taken away. He won the ball. He could really get at the opposition. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. He has teammates around him. Well, he's been ruled offside. Giovanni Di Lorenzo 
sloppy in possession from Italy. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, as the stats confirm, the game hasn't got going so far and the attack in play from both sides has been really poor. But some credit must go to the defenders because they've dominated here today. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game, Stuart. Well, I wouldn't say he's pulled up any trees today. He just hasn't affected the game. He's looked slightly off the pace, both with and without the ball. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Well, it could be on for him here. The net is steering him in the face. That is a tackle and a half. And he takes it on. No way through. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All in all, a broken counter-attack. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Diamantakos. So a half an hour remaining. Verratti. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Well, they've decided to make a change. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not really the ideal clearance. Can they take the lead here? Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. In with a chance. It's opened up for him. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. And time for the change now. Over it comes, and a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. And the substitution will occur now. And over it comes, but no one latched onto it. Marco Verratti, Lorenzo Pellegrini with it, breaking at pace, but the danger averted for now. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Ten minutes left for play, bad pass. He's in here. Huge piece of goalkeeping to keep the game level. Well, what a time to make a save like that. It's a brilliant effort. Well, not long left now, but this crowd have been brilliant. Can the players get a winner here? Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Time for a change then.
Verratti. Sandro Tonali. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, the ball rolling again. No end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. And he's broken free. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Sandro Tonali. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. He's given us away. Diamantakos. A creative look about this. Can he convert? But it wasn't a taxing save. Brian Tristante. Scamacca. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Oh, breezing past him. Verratti. Cross fired over, struggling to get it away. And a time for calm on the ball. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Luna, more sloppy in possession. Can they nudge in front late on here? Able to deal with the threat. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Wonderful chance! And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set-piece, a corner, can make all the difference. And they will make the change now. Played over. And deliver towards the back post. Oh, and it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Interception to snuff out the danger. And the final whistle is sounded. It has gone the wrong way from an Italian point of view here, Stuart. Well, Derek, the fans are right to expect more. The tempo of their passing was too slow. They were second to the ball too many times and were beaten by the better side today.